Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who has been obsessively thinking about you lately and why. And this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth Sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Who has been obsessively thinking about earth signs lately and why? Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, our signs. This person could be somebody like you are, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could also be a fire sign, <clears throat> Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We're seeing Pisces here as well, any fixed signs. But definitely strong earth, air, and fire. Okay, so with the Page of Swords here. Looking towards the King of Pentacles with the High Priestess here. It feels like this person has been stalking you, has been keeping tabs on you. Um, and also it looks like both of you are not really communicating with each other right now because of the High Priestess. High Priestess can indicate silence. The Page of Wands in reverse. Page is a messenger. With it being in reverse, there is a delayed communication between the two of you or no communication, okay? So we've got the world here. So this is someone who lives uh, away, far away from you. Or that this person is of, of a foreign descent. Um, if it's not that, the world can again, maybe this person is somebody very worldly, somebody who likes to travel. And also can again, maybe this is someone you have closed the chapter with, okay? Um... And the seven of wands here in my verse, maybe this is someone you're not really fighting for actively or that they're not really fighting for you actively, okay? But deep down, you know, they're still interested, you know, because the page of swords here feels like only, you know, somebody will only spy on you if they're, they're still interested, am I right? And with the two of wands here, this person is indecisive. With the Eight of Cups here in my verse, whether to return to you, um, I don't know, there is an energy, maybe, I feel like most likely, I'm, I'm not sure if both of you are separated for sure, some of you, maybe you're separated from this person, but some of you, maybe it's kind of like, you know, because the two of wands here, if there's a hanging energy, Maybe because this person is in indecisive or that they think you may be indecisive in regards to them. It could go vice versa. So they've been obsessively thinking about, about decision that they want to make. It could be traveling to you or have you traveled to them. Or if both of you are separated, this person could be thinking uh, about, obsessively thinking about whether to return to you or not okay five of cups here indicates they're sad they're regretful remorseful over something mm. another thing i'm getting here is signs if there's somebody who whom you are not speaking with they could be sad that they actually are not speaking with you even though that could be their decision okay unless it's vice versa and this person thinks about you a lot obviously nine of swords here so definitely obsessively thinking about you but they're stressing out and we've got the nine of pentacles here this is your energy earth signs because the king of pentacles it could i mean it's your it's your element right but it could also be that person's element 
masculine energy here. But I see them thinking obsessively in regards of offering commitment or being committed to you or whether you are committed to them. Mm -hmm. If you know that there is one person who has a bit of an insecurity, um, if they have some insecurities, they may be obsessively thinking, wondering if you are if you're hiding any secrets from them with the high priestess here and if you're committed to them if you're actually doing what you what you're saying that you you've been doing okay and the seven of swords here look with the nine of swords i'm gonna go slow with this reading okay yeah, they're stressing out. They're wondering if you're cheating on them or if you are hiding any secrets from them. Maybe it's, maybe it's it could be due to lack of communication with the page of wands here in reverse or slow communication. And the nine of pentacles here because I think they know you are beautiful, you're gorgeous, doesn't matter. Male or female, it's not gender specific, but they know you have everything. Um... You know, Nine of Pentacles is somebody very, again, gorgeous, somebody independent, very self-sufficient. So I don't know, I'm getting this these insecurities from this person. And Five of Cups here, maybe I think they have fear in losing you. I feel like, I don't know why it's signs. Two different groups of you, one group would be this person whom you are still currently connected. And maybe both of you are either apart from each other because of distance or it could be just them thinking the world of you right they think you are again super gorgeous and you're so independent and they have insecurities they keep thinking about you nine of swords page of swords here kept suspecting you for like you know keeping secrets from you are you if you're keeping secrets from them, you know, if this is you as well, or signs, they, they could be obsessed with thinking if you're actually working, like you claim that you have been working or that if you, you know, it feels like a routine or something stable here. Maybe they do know something about you because you've told them about your routine, what you do, perhaps you work a lot or that you travel a lot with the world here. And for some reason, I feel like they suspect, they suspect or that they wonder if you're telling the truth, right? They're also indecisive whether they should fight for this connection or actually to give, give it up. Because they know that if they were to find out, if you've been keeping secrets from them they're, they're going to be really sad and disappointed unless roles are being reversed here as signs unless this is that one person whom you've been thinking a lot as well so both of you could be mirroring each other right with the two of wands here or however you how do i say this um because two of wands two and these two ones feels like it could be someone that you could be suspecting as well if this they're doing what they said that they they've been doing and with the seven of wands here a seven of swords why i keep say did i keep saying seven of wands seven of swords so this could be that one person whom you suspect right could go vice versa whom you suspect or wonder if they're telling the truth if they're keeping secrets um is this person cheating? Is this person lying? Is this person being honest? Hmm. Got the three of wands here. This person definitely longs for you. The strength card here can indicate them holding back from you because two of wands in the upright position. They're indecisive about you. Or that they could be obsessively thinking that you're indecisive about them. Or two of pentacles also can indicate juggling, right? They could be obsessively thinking that you could be juggling two persons at the same time, juggling other people. 
come and that maybe you are cheating, you're doing something behind your back, but they're doing the best that they can not to lash out on you, not to ask you any questions, or doing the best that they can to keep quiet with the high priestess here. Unless this is vice versa or signs, unless this is someone that you suspect something about them, but you could be holding back and not telling them how you feel, what you're thinking, because you want to play it smart, right? You don't want to show your weakness or your weaknesses. And with the three of wands here, again, this person could live far away from you, or if it's not that, this person could be longing for you, waiting for the right moment to speak with you, to reach out to you, or to visit you if they live far away from you. Hmm. Let's just see a little bit more. This person has fear. They're afraid with the Four of Pentacles that they may lose you. They may lose... that They fear that you may lose interest on in them, on them, okay? However, if because of our cups can indicate disappointment, so somebody this could be someone whom is disappointed in themselves. And this person could be thinking obsessively about you because they are again trying to make a decision here to talk to you, to reach out to you, but they're doing the best that they can to hold back from you hold back from reaching out to you, hold back from doing anything. I think they're just in a limbo with the two of pentacles and the two of wands here. They could also obsess could have also been obsessively thinking about how maybe you've closed your chapter and then with the King of Pentacles you're mm, you're doing well for yourself right now. They wonder if you're done with them. We've got the Hierophant here. Maybe this is someone that... Um, someone either you, you, you've been married to or thinking about marriage or could have talked about in some sort of an engagement. Someone who has made you certain promises or that you have made this person certain promises. But see, the higher fun here <clears throat> kind of makes me feel also as a teaching lessons kind of a reading. I mean, energy. So I do sense them could be obsessively thinking about how you've taught them some lessons or that they could be thinking about teaching you a lesson by keeping quiet and not speaking with you right now. Page of Wands here, I'm up first by you know, either replying to your message really s slowly or delaying sending you a message. Hmm. All right, Assigns, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. First one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the science for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. Um, I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, Earth Science. Bye.